According to the world, Jesus Christ came for who? What do you mean? Like with Jesus Christ, who did he come to save? He came to the world. He came to the whole world, correct? That's that's what we're taught. Yeah. That for the majority of the world, that's what they say. In the Bible though, Matthew 13, 24, there's a problem. Because in the Bible, it says the opposite. Okay. Now the majority the We'll read this first. I don't want to jump in there. Right. Matthew 15, 24, start at 24, 15, start at 10, I believe. Uh, verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10, I believe. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 10. When the woman came to him? Verse 21. Yeah. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Uh -huh. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. Right, if there's a woman, you read a mark, a Phoenician woman. So yeah. she was outside of the issue, right? A yeah. different nation. Mm -hmm. So she came, go ahead. And cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Right, because we find out oh, he was famous. Right. And they knew about uh, Jesus Christ mm -hmm. everywhere. So they said, Have mercy on me, son of David, right? Because he's right. from the lineage of Judah. Of course. Go ahead. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil, uh -huh. but he answered her not a word. Now you gotta understand this. Now, the way they make Jesus Christ in religion and movies, right. they say he's he's a very lovable guy, very soft-spoken, loves to hugs. You know, they make him in, uh, be viewed a certain way. Yeah. But in the Bible, you imagine, she's like, son of David, have mercy on me. She know who he is. My, my daughter, she, she got a spirit on her, yeah. help her. What you do? Read that part again. But he answered her not a word. So you imagine somebody like, please help me, and he's. That is not this Jesus. That's not the Jesus they talk. This one is right. completely ignoring her. Right. That's already telling you, okay, this is different between Christ, the God of this Bible, and the Christ they teach in religion. Right. Okay. But he answered her not a word. Uh -huh. And his disciples came and besought well, him. He got his group, his 12 coming. They came to Christ. What they say? Say, send her away. No, not, not only did he ignore this woman outside the nation, they said, yo, tell her to go kick rock. Hey, tell her to leave, tell her to get out of here. Right. They didn't say, Christ, would you not answer her? They said, yeah, tell her to get out of here. Right. Get lost. Right. For she cried after us. Right? She keep begging us, go ahead. Right. But he answered and said, now, because you hear respond after they say that, go ahead. I am not sick, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, when my father sent me all the way from the Genesis, my stuff, my, my, my uh, mission was to save the nation of Israel, right, right? So that never changed. Now religion comes and says, no, no, that changed. But what did they utilize? John 3, 16, right? right? Well, that is the main, that's the main one they use in Christianity that's to show, right? It did change. Now that changed when the original uh, Jews rejected it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you know, the rejected, uh -huh. and now you have the New Testament Holy Spirit come down because uh, Peter, the Paul preached. But that's New Testament, though. Yeah, of course, New Testament. Okay. But you see things to understand. New Testament, Paul went to the Jews, the Gentiles. The Gentiles. So yeah. these Gentiles, to your understanding, yeah. right? The Gentiles, when you hear the Gentiles, is the other nation, correct? Of course. All right. Now, what scripture you go close to mind when you use that? Uh, but there's different scriptures, but I want to go to your understanding. I'm not going up for you. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Now, preach so, you know, I think it's early. Okay, yeah, no problem, man. Get it. Okay. But while you're doing that, yeah. I'm my uh you understand that we're gonna give oh, you. Here it is. Okay. Okay. So first it's Peter. Okay, go ahead. Uh 10? 10? I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cornelius. Cornelius. That's Cornelius. Cornelius? Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's that chapter is about Cornelius. For you, for, yeah. so that's yeah. 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 No, that's what I said. Listen, we, I understand exactly. As soon as you said that, I was like, oh, that's Cornelius. We know that very well. We actually going through it. Read verse 1. Yes, sir. The book of Acts, chapter 10 and verse 1. Because the point is, as we, we're going to read this to give you the understanding. We're going to show you, we're going to jump to the Old Testament prophecy that the Gentiles, that when they go to talk to the Gentiles, we're talking about Israel. But remember, they went split. They went to idolatry. So they called them Gentiles. And I'll show you to the scripture. But uh, read verse one, go ahead. The book of Acts chapter 10 and verse one. There was a certain man in Caesarea. Caesarea, Caesarea, do you know where, the, where, where was that at? at the I know that somewhere in the... That was in, that was in, um, in, a, the, in Jerusalem. Yeah. That was in the Northern Kingdom where Ephraim was at. That was the capital of the Romans when they took over. We look at the map, 
Caesarea is actually in Israel. Okay. So that's why he was a man in Israel at the time they called Caesarea. Because the Roman was on the top of Called Cornelius. His name was Cornelius. A centurion of the band. What is a centurion? I, and I'm asking you not to be ignorant. I'm just saying, make sure. He was like a Roman guard. Right. He's a, uh, like a captain. Yeah, of course. Captain of a hundred. They said a centurion is a hundred, a century. Yeah, because yeah, you know, he talked about, right, you know, I have a man under my control. Right. Yeah, that was another, that was, uh, that was somebody else. But yes, same guy. right, yeah. right, right. Same guy, but same decision. Yes. Okay, good, good, that's good. Right. Good understanding, go ahead. Called the Italian band. Right, because he was under, that was the Romans. Right. He was a captain of a hundred, a centurion of the Italian band, of the, the right. Romans, right? Uh, 34. The book of Acts, that's when you read up, you know, he goes, remember Peter, he was a hunger, mm -hmm. and uh, he had the, the vision of the net, the four net, the animals. He said, well, you know, what's unclean, don't call unclean, but Lord, I never eat them, right? Ba -ba 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 -ba. And eventually, Cornelius says some men, and the spirit told him, go to them, right? Yeah, of course. So this is where he went to talk to Cornelius and his family. Yeah. The book of Acts, chapter 10, and verse 34. Mm -hmm. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, right. okay. but in every nation, he, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. Keep reading, keep reading. Verse 36. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. James 1 and 1. So that right there, clears out, he said, those that are on every nation, and I'm going to show you in the scriptures, mm -hmm. there's every nation being a Gentile to salvation, those that believe is Israel. And I'm going to prove to the scriptures. Right. I know I'm saying it, but I'm going to yeah. give it to you. Give me James 1 and 1. The brother of Christ. Right. One and one. The book of James, chapter one and verse one. James, a servant of God awesome. and of the Lord Jesus Christ, right. to the twelve tribes, twelve tribes, right. which are scattered abroad. Greeting. Out of every nation. As a matter of fact, go back to Acts two and five. And then we go to those Testament to show the prophet for our brother. The book of Acts chapter two and verse five. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven. Right. Read a little bit, just to kind of get like that, and then we're going to go to the Bible. Okay? So you got shield. Yeah, keep reading now. Uh, verse 1. I'm going to read down after the verse. Yes. Yes. Verse 6. There you go. Now when this was noise abroad, the, the ones like some of the cities right. they were coming from. 9? Verse 9. Right. Yeah. Parthians. Right, that's and, over there by uh, Parthians. And Medes. And Medes. Right, those are where the Iraq. Sinai, stuff like that. And Elamites. Right, East India. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia. Uh, Mesopotamia is over there around Greece. Yeah. And in Judea. Judea, right. And Cappadocia. So you read it down, and that's why I said it gave a whole Where there was, we was dwelling everywhere. Now right. we read in Acts 10, he said, go that in every nation, right? Right. Go to Deuteronomy 427 and the Deuteronomy 2864. Right. To give their history what was going to happen to us, that's why they had it both. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, and verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. So you're going to be, listen, Israel, because you are Israel. All of us Israel. You're going to be in every nation. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. Among the heathen. Of course. Whether the Lord shall lead you. Give me, give me Deuteronomy 26, but give me John 7, 35. Because Christ said the same thing. John of uh, Christ said the same thing. John 7, 35. The book of John chapter 7 and verse 35. They said the Jews among themselves. Now these are the southern kingdom, right? The Jews, right? The Pharisees and all that. Whether will he go that we should not find him? What Christ going that, we, that we're not going to be able to find him? They said, listen, where I'm going, you ain't going to be able to come. Of course, that was going beyond their head. They understand it, right? So go ahead. Will he go unto the dispersed? Dispersed, scattered. You just read that. Is he going to go to the scattered? Among the Gentiles? That is among these other nations? And teach the Gentiles? And he called those the scattered. He also Stay. called them Gentiles. Right. What's that? First Corinthians 12? And then I want the one in Philippians. Okay, now I'm going to show you. And Paul, remember Paul was after Christ. Christ already left. He's going to reference to Israel as Gentiles. The book of Start at verse one. The book of First Corinthians, chapter twelve and verse one. Corinthians. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brother. My brother, my family, my brethren. I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. You were Gentiles. I can never say. You know you were Chinese one time, right? No. You just you can't change. 
you can, the way you act, the way you live your life, you can change that. But your physical, what you are, that's what you are. Right. How you doing, my brother? He was wondering what, how God told us how to get hope. Hope. Where to find hope. Okay, I got you, my brother. Right now, what we're going over right now, I'll get with that if we got enough time. I'm going over my brother right here, our brother. Yeah. You know, saying about showing that the Gentiles, that Christ and the Apostle came, according to the scriptures, was actually our people Israel, not the Gentiles of the other nation. Uh, what was that again? Read that again. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12 and verse 2. This is Paul talking to the, our people in Corinthians. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. So you imagine, I come to you, what's your name, my brother? My name is Lemuel. I'm Jaquel. Jaquel. Imagine. I say, hey, Jack Hill, you know that you were Korean one time? Can you be Korean? Uh, Hell no, you can start talking, you can learn Korean, you can eat food, you can live the way they live, but you are so-called black, but you can't change that, <laughs> right? But he said, you know that you what? Ye know that ye were Gentiles. How? Carried away unto these dumb idols. You live in another life. You going, you being a Christian, you being a Buddhist, you being a Muslim carried away unto these other idols. We was living as Gentiles, because we changed our mind. You read that in Kings, we split. The Northern Kingdom split with the Southern Kingdom. Right. Two different nations, right? Uh, now give me that Ephesians. In it, and in the church in Ephesians, he said the same thing. The right. book of Ephesians, chapter two and verse 11. Mm -hmm. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past, Gentiles in the flesh. You're living as you, the whole body, you, live, you was being a Gentile, you was living as a Gentile in the flesh. Yeah. Who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision. The circumcision of the southern kingdom, the Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, because they were still keeping the circumcision. The northern kingdom, they stopped doing that because they're living like the Greeks. They're living like the Romans. They wasn't circumcised. Yeah. You read in Maccabees, they made it a law that not to circumcise. So those that were still keeping the law that still Jews keeping the law that was calling the other people look at the uncircumcised their own people the uncircumcised right here go ahead what you got go ahead the book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 15 oh this is Christ right here you read this prophecy you actually read in Isaiah go ahead. the land of Zebulon the land of Zebulon right northern kingdom go ahead and the land of Naphtali Naphtali another tribe of Israel by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. So he was calling them Zebulon and Anak, that's telling people living in there, he was calling them Gentiles. This is Christ, by the way. This is right here, during Christ. The, well, right before Christ, he come up and he, he went to them, keep reading. He called them Gentiles, two tribes, by name. The people which sat in darkness. Because when you, you know why you're in darkness? Because we didn't know who we was no more. Right. Because give me that, the laws of life, the commandment. Real quick, that's a simple one, 623. Because according to the Bible, when we are not keeping God's commandment, we in darkness. You read that in Ezekiel 37, when it says the uh, valley of the dry bones. He's not talking about bones itself. He's talking about us living with no identity, no purpose. So he's called us, can these bones live? So we live with no purpose. We don't know who we are. The book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp. God is, when he said, I'm enlightened, I see the light. The commandment is what? The commandment is a lamp. Go ahead. And the law is light. That's the light. So you got the light in you will. The children, right? You read that in First John. The children of the light. Those that know who you are and keep God's commandment. Go right. back. The book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. The people which sat in darkness. Those because Northern Kingdom went off. You read that in the Hosea. He said, don't mess with them no more because they ain't idolatry. But eventually I'm going to get them again. <laughs> saw great light. They saw Christ. Was like, we just read it. He went to Gadda, he went to Zebulon and the valley. And to them we set in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Now Christ came to them, listen, I come back to bring you back to the fold. That's the mystery of the Bible. The Bible uh, never changed. It's the doctrine that's taught to us. Because you imagine from the beginning, Malachi 3 is 6, and then uh, Hebrews 13 and 8. But you ask a lot of people, does God change? And majority are gonna say no. But then, in the same breath, they say no, the doctor changed. That, that don't make no sense. Read this. The book of Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. He don't change, God don't change. If he says something from the beginning, he's not flesh. What he says he meant and it's gonna happen. There's nothing we could do about it. It don't matter our feelings. Change not 
Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. That's why we're not destroyed. That's why we're still here. Right. Okay, he said, listen, I made a promise to your father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because of them, because I make a promise, I don't break my promise. He's right. not like us. He said, so y'all still here, I'm going to save my son to save y'all. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't even be existing. So who gets saved? I got you. Right. I like that. I like that right there. Uh, but give me the Hebrews, and then we're going to deal with that. Right. I ain't forget you, my brother. All right? Okay. The, and this kind of goes with what you're doing with the hope. Hope is that guess what? Where you from? Where's your family originally from? From the States? What are, what's your nationality according to this society? Uh, African-American. African-American. Not in the Bible. But most likely, according to the Bible, you are from the tribe of Judah, an Israelite. That's hope. Because guess what? Even though we're in a lower state, the Bible says we're going to rule for eternal life, not the other nation. The book of Hebrews chapter, right. uh, chapter 13 and verse 8. Uh, sometimes they say, well, yeah, when Christ came, like you say, he did this, but he changed later on, right? Yeah, he came to the Jews, but then he changed later. Go ahead. Jesus, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the same from the beginning, from Genesis, and today, that time, and forever. He don't change. His doctrine, it is what it is. It don't change, right? right? So, uh, salvation, Romans 9. That's a good one. Romans 9, or Romans 9. Yeah. Start at verse 1. The book of Romans, chapter 9, and then verse 1. Uh, 12 games. Go ahead. Oh, and then Acts 5, this is whatever. Okay. Yes. I say the truth in Christ. Okay. I lie not. I say, hey, Paul said, I don't lie. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost okay. that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. He got sorrow, why? For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ okay. for my brethren. My, my brethren, my family. My kinsmen. Go ahead. According to the flesh. Not, not like, oh, we brothers in Christ. No, literally, my genealogy, my, the Israel. I wish I could take that curse into my people's under, Deuteronomy 28. Mm -hmm. I wish I could be that curse, take it away from them. Right. My brethren of flesh. Go ahead. Who are Israelites? Clear as day. He said it. Who are Israelites? That's his brethren. Go ahead. To whom pertaineth belong the adoption. See, when it said, yo, we've been adopted to Christ. Oh, now he's making it very clear who the adoption is for. Who, the Israel. And the glory. The glory that's coming with that adoption with Christ. And the covenants. It's an S. It's plural. Right? The old covenant and the new covenant don't change. It stays with Israel. Right. That never changes. That's what like I said. Belay. Read that part again. And the covenants. Plural. Go ahead. And the giving of the law. And giving of the law. You read that in Psalms. The law, God's commandment was never given to the other nation. That's right. a clear statement. You read right. that in uh, uh, Psalms what, 147? Yes. 147, Deuteronomy, Exodus, right? Uh -huh. And the service of God. And the service of God belongs to what? Israel. We just read that. So salvation, Acts 530, uh, oh, and the promises. And the promise of the whole Bible to Israel. Whose are the fathers? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. That's who he came for. He came for what? Israel. He set it up, right? Acts 5. Because remember, this is Paul in Romans. And in Acts 5, Christ already been gone. Because sometimes I, I, I stress that right now is because they say, oh, it changed when Christ died and went back to the Father. In Acts, Christ been gone. So this is after Christ. Acts 5, 29. The book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Go ahead. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, Now these are the chief apostles, this is 12, what they say. We ought to obey God. We ought to obey what the Bible say. Rather than men. Whatever these churches say. Go ahead. The God of our fathers. Our father is possessive. Raised up Jesus. You raised up Jesus. Whom ye slew and hanged on the tree. he's talking to the Jews. He said, he said, the, the, the Christ that you killed, you Jews. Go ahead. Whom you slew, who you slew, and hang on a tree. Go ahead. Him, this man that you hang, have God exalted. He exalted with his right hand. Go ahead. To be a prince. A prince. And a savior. A savior. For to give repentance. To who? To Israel. Yes, you killed him. But this same guy, he's the one that raised him up to come give you salvation. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salvation. Salvation. 
Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my